With the automation of FL Studio 21, we can not only adjust the volume of a track in the course of a song, but we can automate every control of every instrument or effect. My name is Thomas Foster and in this video I explain everything you need to know to use the automations of FL Studio 21. Good to have you here, let's go! I have here a house track I produced, You Moving Out, and let's listen to it. This is the break of this track. Alright, and now we want to make an automation for this synthesizer uh, with a filter. So let's go to the mixer, let's go here and select the synthesizer track. We also make it solo, so we really can listen to the synthesizer. We want to start here and now I add the uh, equalizer, um, here the fruity parametric EQ2. And as I want to use a filter, I go to the right band, the blue one, and I change the type of this uh, filter here to a low pass filter, right? Now it's a low pass filter and we can change here the frequency and we can also change the frequency here. And it's important to know that you can do it here because here you cannot create an automation clip. That's what we can do here. Um, I want to change here the uh, bandwidth of this filter. So let's go down a little bit. So we have this peak here. So we hear more this movement. Now let's listen what we can do with this filter. So that's what we want. We want to go down and up, 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 up until the end. So let's right click here the frequency of this band. And here we say create automation clip. Wonderful. Uh, let me move this a little bit to the right side so you can see the automation clip I created. And this automation clip has two points, uh, basically three. Here in the middle is also one and we have the right and the left one. If I left click the left point, I can move this point down. And also here I can left click the right point and move it up. I like the behavior on the right side. I don't like it on the left side because we don't hear it here. I want to hear something. So we uh, left click this point again and move it a little bit up. That's okay. So now you may ask, what is this point for? With this point, you can make curves. So we can move slowly in the beginning and then go up faster at the end. Or we can do the opposite. Let's listen to this. Let's listen to the opposite. We make a curve like this. So we go up very fast and then very slow. In this case, I liked it more like it was in the beginning. I just want to demonstrate you what you do with this point. You also can right click this line here to create a new point like this and like that. So, and if you move these points here like this, um, you see that they are 
in a grid, right? Uh, in my case, the grid is here full bar, but you also can go down to eighth notes or sixteenth notes or whatever. And if you don't like this, you simply can use the Alt or Option key to move this without a grid. Okay, wonderful. Um, and you can right click the point to delete it. Very easy. But did you see that? There is another nice option. Uh, we have different modes. At the moment, we have this single curve. We have different single curves. So you see the curve is changing a little bit. But we also have a double curve. Oh, cool, isn't it? That we can change like this. Also very interesting. And we can use uh, stairs. And look what they do. What? Let's listen to this. And beside the uh, stairs, we also have uh, smooth stairs, uh, pulls, look like this, and waves. And you always can click here this point in the middle to change how fast this behavior is here. So we right click now to delete all the set extra points we made. Maybe we make a very smooth curve and I like it like this, but I would like to add a reverb at the end. So let's go again here to our mixer. We have selected the synthesizer and we have to move this so you can see it. Now we add a little reverb. Where is it? It should be here. That's a reverb. I want to make it really big. So go up with the size to something like 83%. I think it's percent. And we want to automate the wet knob. Let's listen to this. So just at the end, I want to add a little reverb. And to do this, we have to create an automation clip. And let's um, go up here. Maybe uh, we go up a little bit earlier. So I add a new point here. But now we make a big curve so we stay down very long and then we go up slowly and at the end we move up faster uh, let's take a look to this now it's coming So now we have a problem because the effects we automate, they do also something in the beginning of the track. And they do also something at the end of this part. Uh, let's listen here. Still the reverb is here and I don't want that. So what can we do? We can automate this button here. The turns the effects on or off. So we can say in the beginning of this track, I want the effect to be off, bypass, you also would say. And where this break is happening, I want it to be on. So to do this, um, we right click here this button and we say create automation clip. Um, let's take a look that this is on. All right. And the effect should go on here at this point. But um, maybe we need another point. So we go down here and up here. And then we want exactly at this point one knob to turn it on and one to... So with four points, we defined exactly where to turn on the effect. Now we want to copy this automation also to the second button. We don't want to do it again. We want to uh, copy it. So what we do is we double click this um, 
clip here and here is this little arrow and if we click here we can say copy state so we copy the automation by saying copy state and now we go to the mixer to the second button we want to automate that's the reverb what we did is the parametric EQ2 but now we want to automate the on off button of the reverb so we uh, go with the right button to get this menu and say create automation clip wonderful we double click this one here click on this error and say paste state and now we have the same automation exactly on the beginning of this part and at the end of this part and now we want to look to it and to listen to it here it is it's on now the automation is happening here and also here and at the end of the part it's off so there's something important that I would like to show you because many producers like to work with external plugins. Means plugins that are not from ImageLine, not from FL Studio. You can buy them from another company and use them in FL Studio, like this Meta Filter Stereo here from the company Waves that I placed on the vocals of this track. And it, the problem is if you want to automate this filter here, uh, you would right click it, but this is not working. There is no possibility to say, let's make an auto, create an automation clip. So you move this knob and then you go here to the multi link to controllers. You click it with the right mouse. And now you say create automation clip. And here you have the automation clip for the external plug-in. Let's make it a wave to have a little bit more fun here. So I would say why don't we listen to the whole track. Again, if you want to listen to this track, you find a link in the description. You Moving Out by Thomas Foster and Stephen Sugar Harding. Yes, my name is Thomas Foster. I'm a music producer from Austria, as you can hear on my accent. And no, we do not have kangaroos in Austria, as this is Austria and not Australia. If you like the video, please let a like here or a comment. Thank you for watching. Always stay creative. Cheers!